Okay, so in this video, I'm going to look at an update to the Spectrum Next software. Probably the most important part of this is the addition of a, Sinc of a, of a Sinclair QL core. So looking at the web page about this, um, there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, instructions about how to use the QL have been put in there, including information about um, its function keys and how to use them using the NMI uh, button on the next. And then that's the boot screen when you go into the QL. It tells you about how to set the monitor or t TV or dual screen. So you need to use the function keys um, to do that. And then there's a bunch of instructions that you would use on the QL once you've got it running. Things like load, DIR, DIR win one underscore is the command to look at your main drive. There's a warning there to not have a, a joystick plugged in to port one when you're in the QL. So this page here is to tells you how to install the additional cores. This is quite an old page, but it's probably worth reading through uh, from 2020. So then if you want to go on and download the, the new software, it, so that's the web page, specnest.com latest distro. And that, this page tells you what's new, gives you a summary. So the operating systems updated, Warhawks been updated, you've got BBC Basic, um, you've got multi-core support, and then you've got additional core of the QL and some more information about the distribution worth looking at. And that link SN complete 2411.zip is the link to download the new software. So I'll do that, speed that up a bit, and then Having downloaded it, I extract, extract it onto my hard drive. And then here, here's a information on how to update. So I'm using a new SD card, which is the best thing to do. So I'm not, not going to break my uh, original one. It, it, may, it tells you to make sure that the card is completely empty. And you've got to copy on the qxl.win file first before copying anything else on. So if I take the qxl.win file, I'll copy that on first. Doesn't take too long, it's quite a small file. And then select the rest of the um, files and folders, but not qxl. Copy those. And then paste those onto the new SD card. So I'll, I'll speed it that up. There's a README file which gives you some information, nothing sort of critical to getting it running, but some interesting information. And then, and then looking in the games, uh, going into next, you've got similar games to where they're on the original, but with the update of Warhawk. And then going into the QL folder, you can see the uh, the new files for that. Some instructions, uh, again, nothing too critical there to load up the QL. So going on to the next, um, I've plugged in the new SD card so, and then I'm booting it up um, and press C um, to, to get to the, uh, the extra cores. And then there's a, a, a several slots. So I've picked the top one and then selected the Sinclair QL core, which it then flashes onto that, onto that, raises the um, existing one and then writes the new one onto, the, onto it. It's fairly quick. I've not speeded this up, so you can see that this is quite quick. Always a bit worrying when you're doing this sort of thing, but it's done it fine. So then enter, to go, to go into the Sinclair QR core. And then we're into a kind of splash screen uh, for the QL. Um, it tells you F1 or F2 to set the monitor or TV. 
and then F3, F4 for dual screen. And then after a short pause, you're into the QL's main screen. My keyboard is not working immediately because I've got the uh, gamepad plugged in on uh, the um, first port. So I've tear that out and start again. So again, press C for the extra cores. Go into the Sinclair QL one. Starts up pretty quick. And then back into the splash screen. And then short pause again. And now, and now it's responding to the keyboard. So I can try typing in DIR, which it doesn't like. Uh, try typing in load, which it didn't like. And then, so I'm trying to type in the command from the web page, DRWIN1 underscore, it doesn't like. So I think there's something more that I need to do there before I can do the, before I can use these commands. WDIR doesn't work either. So again, there's something else that I need to do there. So attempting to try type some basic, if I do the usual uh, 10 print high, and then 20 go to 10, as everybody does. There's one of trying these machines out for the first time, and then run it, and that runs fine. So QL basic is running fine there. I don't know what the key is to break out of it. The break key doesn't seem to work. So I have to resort to rebooting. So my final test for this video is I'm gonna just check that um, the new version of Warhawk runs. So I'll plug my joystick back into port one and go down to Warhawk and run it. It's starting up okay. The game kicks off. I'm okay. I can move around okay. I can play the game. So that's all working fine. I'll have to play a bit to see what the uh, the additions are, the new additions that have been added. Um, so that's um, the new QL core. Oh, that's been interesting. And thanks for watching.